What's going on, everybody? I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. You're listening to Pretty Dece, and Nintendo announced today the Super Nintendo Classic, the Super NES Classic, the follow-up to their NES Classic, their awesome, tiny little all-in-one box that was all the rage last Christmas. You couldn't find it anywhere. Now it's discontinued. Still no way to find it anywhere. Um, The follow-up is the Super Nintendo Classic. Again, same tiny little form factor. Fits in your hand. Comes with miniaturized controllers. It'll be out in September. And it is basically everything that we had expected and hoped that it would be. So coming out in September, you're getting 21 games for $79.99. So 80 bucks. So it's $10 more than the NES Classic was. However, of course, Super Nintendo games have a lot more meat to them. So even though you're getting, you know, uh, less games, you're spending $10 more, you're getting some really good games. Plus, you're getting an extra controller. So the controllers for the NES Classic, uh, you know, were 10 bucks. So this is the, the difference in price is basically putting the extra controller in the box because everyone's going to want two controllers. And I got to tell you, the game list, even though there are, there are only 21 games, there are a bunch of Super Nintendo games that we aren't getting. Like, obviously 21 doesn't even begin to scratch the surface on amazing Super Nintendo games because the SNES is one of the greatest systems of all time, if not the greatest system as far as games that were out on it. However, we do have 21 of some of the best games. So I have the full list up here. So just to hit some of the highlights, uh, we have Super Metroid, F-Zero, Super Mario World, Super Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, huge, huge game, one of the best games on the Super Nintendo, Uh, keeping in that RPG vein, Earthbound, Earthbound, that game is is a hundred plus dollars to find the actual cartridge of it, so Earthbound coming on this thing will be easy to play, hook up to your TV, Secret of Mana, Final Fantasy 3 in the RPG realm, Uh, Super Mario RPG is going to be there, Uh, an awesome game came out, a lot of people slept on it on the Super Nintendo, people have now played it in ROM form and stuff, but uh, you'll be able to legitimately on your TV play Super Mario RPG with an awesome interface and save states yeah sign me up uh we've also got things like you know super ghouls and ghosts so so a little arcadey action contra 3 street fighter 2 super punch out castlevania 3 uh things like donkey kong country a couple kirby games i this the list of games here is really really good um stuff that's gonna last you a long long time Cannot wait to play through Super Mario RPG. Cannot wait to play through Earthbound. Uh, definitely going to put a lot of time into A Link to the Past. One of the interesting things that they're putting in this box, though. So, the original Star Fox is in is in this box, which makes a lot of sense. Star Fox is a big game. They also are including the never ever actually released Star Fox Two. This is a game that got developed and got canceled before it actually released on the Super Nintendo. Uh, it's, it's been around in, in ROM form, so if you wanted to go the slightly illegal route, you've been able to play Star Fox 2. So this isn't some huge revelation. No one knows. It's not like anyone doesn't know what Star Fox 2 is about. But we've never been able to kind of really play it up until now uh, in, in a legal avenue. So if you beat the first level of Star Fox... It'll unlock Star Fox 2 and be able to play the never-before-released Star Fox 2. That's really neat. I really like them going down that route of the, you know, hey, here's this cool, weird thing that never actually came out. I'd love to see them go even farther in that route as we keep putting out these classic consoles. Like, give me weird demo versions that were created during development and, like, never, never were were actually meant for the light of day. Like, I want to play, like, a really broken version of a game that was just trying out some weird concept or something like that. That's as as a video game collector, as a video game historian. Those are things that I'm interested in. And I want to see like, what did you try out? Like, what did you throw against the wall to see what would stick? Uh, but you know, I think Star Fox Two is a really cool start. So that is the Super Nintendo Classic again coming out in September for eighty bucks, twenty one games. Press the call-in button. Let me know. Do you think that this this game list is good? Do you think the price is good? Are you excited about this? Call in. Let me know.